Hey, Mud family. Back here in Gothenburg, Nebraska, hoping that I would find the Sod House Museum open and check it out. Sadly, instead, I find that the Sod House at the museum is even more run down than the last time I was here, about three, four years ago. Looks like it's fading back into the earth. In some ways, that's not a bad thing. There's a lot of newer buildings that are falling apart into a pile of toxic goo. So if instead your house just fades back into dirt, well, so be it. I think that happens to all of us, more or less. But I thought I'd look at this again, because since I was here last time, the wall here has collapsed, and uh, it's actually sadly useful to be able to see the inside of here, to be able to see the layers of the sod. Here we go, we've got the fiber of the sod kind of holding things together. A little bit of uh, clay there. I guess they tried to use as mortar between the layers of sod. But, uh, so unlike a cob house, this is mostly organic matter and it peels away really easily. So in order to have these houses last at all, the walls had to be super thick. I mean, two layers of uh, sod stacked up. Uh, that's about three feet thick there. And you can see down here that the rain coming off the edge here with no uh, gutter or anything kind of just undermined the outside edge of this sod. Let me give you a good look here. So it just kind of fell over over there. And it looks like this place over here is bulging out, getting ready to do the same thing. COVID's been really hard on these little museums that weren't doing too well before it anyway. Too much Disney garbage to compete with, I guess. You can see the settling here on this side. And the big cracks because this uh, the fiber of the grass really isn't very strong. So it pulls apart. You can see over here, like this whole corner collapsed. And they made, they put up posts here to try to keep it going longer, but. It peeled back a whole nother layer here. Looks like it got wet down in there. So the whole outside started to tilt out, just came out away from the inside layer. Probably weighs several tons, so I don't want to get where I could knock it over on top of myself. That would not be cool. Probably the most expensive part 
of building a Saudi house would have been finding uh, or bringing in wood. There really wasn't this much wood back then. These trees, uh, the cottonwoods, didn't make particularly good lumber either. So uh, it would have been fairly expensive bringing in the wood for the window box and the door and the roof. And the roof would have uh, had multiple layers of sod on top instead of on this one they are using some uh, roll roofing and those layers of sod would have kept it warmer inside than say a fancier house but also if it rained it would rain they said for weeks where it would drip <laughs> drip mud down into the house so they would try to keep it from getting so dusty by uh, uh, plastering it with lime you can see inside of here that lime plaster there's still a little bit of it left and they would whitewash over the top of the lime plaster or if they couldn't afford that much lime they would just whitewash over the sod and just paint it. It was a thin, cheap paint that they could just keep putting over every time it started to fade. Sometimes they would put newspaper or hang curtains around on the ceiling to try to keep the dust from falling in their food or their beds. It was a pretty harsh existence. But, uh, the sad funny thing about these Saudis was that they were so much warmer and took so much less fuel and the fuel was very scarce but they took so much less fuel than the stick frame houses they were replaced with but I guess people once they'd lived for a while inside of a sod house often dug in to a creek bed for shelter from the wind um, they were kind of glad to not <laughs> be living in such a muddy spot anymore not so much dirt I know uh, my earthen walls at my house uh, are a lot nicer when I've had a chance to uh, paint them with like a milk paint or linseed oil or something to uh, keep the dust down. But those were not things that were available to a person who might have lived in a sod hut like this. Well, hopefully somebody comes along and rebuilds this as a good uh, memento, but it uh, doesn't look like that's what's going to be happening. The Gothenburg, Nebraska, and, uh, the uh, apparently soon-to-be former Sod House Museum. Have a lovely day.